Jesus, Jesus, give me strength. Yes. Now, while Jesus does give you strength, we are here to give you a way out of this. That's right, sir. The Fix-It PR firm has gotten people out of way worse jams than this one. There are people out there who've done worse things than me. No, oh, dear God, what is this country coming to? <laughs> yeah. And now, we have prepared you for every possible question they could ask you. So, so let's review. Okay. Did you steal that money? Yes. No! <laughs> I was asking as one of the reporters out there. I, I thought you asked me in here. Sandra, <laughs> let's try this again, okay? Okay. okay. Did you steal three million dollars in campaign donations to build a summer home in the Cayman Islands? You asking me as you or a reporter? <laughs> as a reporter. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> I did not steal that money. <laughs> <laughs> I merely relocated those funds to a place where I might have the peace and quiet and privacy I need to do the important work that will immediately benefit my constituents. <laughs> you hired for the upkeep of your California mansion. <coughs> Love thy neighbor, Jesus said. <laughs> when someone comes to me in need, I feel it's my obligation to, as a Christian to share my work and possessions with them. <laughs> see, I don't see an illegal alien. I'm an immigrant. I see a human being, whether he be brown or even darker brown. Okay, just leave the brown stuff out. Now, if they mention the 17 women who have come forward claiming to have had sexual intercourse with you over the last 12 months. It's only 17, that's great! <laughs> I have never claimed to be perfect, but unless my actions have somehow become illegal, I would ask that you would allow me to work through this with my beloved wife, Roberta. <laughs> We've prayed on this, and I'm pleased to tell you that she has agreed to stay by my side through this difficult, difficult time. Hey, what, uh, what if they ask me about that dirty movie I made with the Tasty Twins? <laughs> tasty Twins? I don't know anything about Tasty Twins. Oh, super nice guys. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think they know about the Tasty Twins. They, they don't know. Don't mention the Tasty Twins! <laughs> Senator Blankfeld, they're ready for you. Okay, here you go. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, son. All right, guys, I think we have prepared him for every possible question. and ugly rumors about me, which is why I thought I'd come down here and just talk to you face to face today. So, uh, anybody got a quick anything at all? Oh, yeah, go uh on. -huh. Senator Blankfeld, yeah. can you tell us about the pictures of you playing badminton with known Mexican drug lord El Stabo? <laughs> you know, I've been up here on Capitol Hill for an awful long time, and you don't get up here and spend this time without learning a few things. One of the very first lessons I learned when I got here. You keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> Senator. Senator. Oh, uh, yeah. With all of these allegations, how are you handling the pressure? <laughs> <laughs> Think 
maybe you could like rephrase that question. <laughs> uh, how you handling the pressure, sir? <laughs> How am I handling the pressure? How am I handling? Well, uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm not handling it worth a damn. And you know what? These pills out of Sambo gave me—they are not helping. <laughs> Plus, I'm trying to get a swimming pool put in my summer home. I can't get a permit. Who the hell I got a black man get that done? <laughs> then the other day, I'm talking to my gardener, Julio. He says he don't want to be a gardener no more. He wants to be an actor. Who the fuck is going to take care of my 20 acres? <laughs> How am I handling the pressure? I'm stressed out of my fucking mind. <laughs> but you know what? It's nothing good blowjob wouldn't be. <laughs>